somebody's mother coming through, big, big family, large family, close family, big family, uh, family very important to this woman, big family, big part of family. Uh, I have to emphasize the family because it's a huge part of this woman's life. This woman, it's interesting. <clears throat> I, um, she, was, she was very Catholic. But not in a, I was, I, I'm from a Catholic family. So not like a judgmental Catholic, I want to say, uh, you know, there's some of those, <laughs> a very loving Catholic. Like, I feel like she had such, this woman was very connected to God. I have to tell you. Okay. I almost thought for a second, she was a nun because I, I just felt that's how connected she was, but I, she wasn't a nun because she wasn't a nun, but it's kind of like she had a nun energy, if that makes sense to you. Her name is Rosemary. She says, tell my daughter I want to talk to her. She says, I want to talk to my daughter. So somebody must be her daughter here. Susie, do you have it? Yes. That's, that's my mom's name. That's your mom, honey? Yes. Can I ask you, honey, do you understand what I'm saying when I say that she was, um, oh, by the way, she said, how's Jerry? He's doing great. He's at work. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Um, did she know Jerry? Oh, yes. Okay. She said she liked, loved Jerry. They, they, she said that they were close. Yes. He was upset when she passed. Uh -huh. Who is that? My husband. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, yeah. Was your mom like this though? Was she, was she very Catholic? But like, you know what I want to say? Like sometimes there's the Catholics and they're like, Don't yes. She was just more like, I feel like she just loved God and she loved the church and that was like her thing. But she wasn't like a pushy about it. Like, I don't no, know. she wasn't. Mm -hmm. but I think she loved going she must have gone to church a lot uh every week every week okay <laughs> mm -hmm. can I ask you <clears throat> as I'm connecting with and her name is Rosemary yes I'm just looking here on the chat I don't think that anything I don't yeah I don't I don't I don't think anybody could be I mean nobody else could be connected it's a different before. name so nobody else is okay so we're I think we're just going to stick with you I mean unless somebody else is so let me connect to mom um because I know she's here it was interesting because you know what she was chiming in with when I was talking to those women and I said about visiting dreams your mother came through and she goes she goes I do that too I see my daughter in dreams she, um, she does you have that uh, yeah it's interesting uh, Susie I, I think that you have some psychic abilities I don't know if have you ever tried to develop that at all I don't know how. Yeah, I, I think I, if you took classes and things like that, um, you know, there, I, oh, hold on a second. Your mom is so funny. She's cute. She's very cute. Sweet lady. Yes. Was she like that in life? Just a very, I feel like she was just a sweet person, right? Yes. She was she, very she, loved. Yeah, she said, she said the end was very hard. Mm-hmm. But the end was very hard. Did she have trouble walking, dear? She, I think she might have had ankylosing spondylitis, mm -hmm. but yes. I'm not sure because I have it. Okay. Um, I want to tell you this because she keeps talk, yeah, she's talking about this. Um, she said that her, you know, her spiritual thing was more the Catholic thing, but yes. she said that, you know, she want like. She says that you have a connection to God too, but it's in just a little bit of a, like, I don't necessarily feel like you go to church every week. I don't. I, I do feel that you have a, I do feel like you have a, um, I don't know, like, I feel like you do have a connection to spirit and a connection to God kind of in your own way, if that makes any sense. Yes. And I feel like, you do believe in like the presence of God or the universe or there's a higher power, you know, does that make sense? Yes. 
Yeah. I just think, and it's not like she's saying this in a mean way, but your mom is just saying that you've cut, not like you've gotten off that path a little bit, but just that you're maybe not as focused on it as you used to be. And I feel like she's saying, she just kind of wants to remind you that you have a lot of angels and guides and loved ones, just like everybody else, of course, including her, um, that love you. and are So if you need support, guidance, it could be as something as mundane as you're looking for a parking spot. It could be something where you're really worried about something in your life and you feel like you need help or something. Um, call in spirit, at, call in your guides, call in your angels, because she's telling me that they all want to help you and guide you. Um, but maybe sometimes you don't necessarily feel um, that you can, you know, call them, call in on them as much. But she, she's definitely wanting to let you know that she's, she, she is around you and stuff. Um, can I ask you something? Because I'm getting a feeling about this. Um, are you having anything, uh, because she was showing me this, are you an only child? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can, I need to explain this the right way, huh? I need to say that there's some sort of family situation going on, but it doesn't really involve you. Does that make sense? Like there's civil, is, is there some sort of family fight going on? With Jerry's sister. I was going to say it could be like totally a different <laughs> side of the family or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's on his side. Oh, and they're having a problem? With me. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Now that's making sense. Because she, <laughs> your mom's trying to tell me about this. And she's saying that there's something going on. on, on there's a family fight. And it was weird because I thought it was a sibling. But then I was weird because I also psychically tuned into you. And I was like, but she's an only child. So I don't <laughs> get this. Okay. Now that makes so much more sense. Okay, now I'm getting it. So, so your sister-in-law and you were yeah. having problems? Yeah, she thinks so she can. More, she's having an issue with you or something, right? Yeah. She doesn't believe in vaccinations and stuff. Oh, so you're, it's like more like you're just having, you're having a difference of beliefs and stuff? Yeah. Okay. And she's very um, bold about it. Mm. <laughs> and so you're sort of just kind of like this is kind of going on and it's kind of is it upsetting you a little bit yes okay and it's been that way <laughs> because my... what, before you guys were a little bit more close or something yes okay well I think that your mom is I, I think that might be what she's talking about then because she's telling me that it's kind of it is on your mind and it, it is kind of bothering you and stuff um you know, what your mom is telling me is, and, and I think that she was very much like this in life um, in kind of how her energy was, but your mom just said, um, she said, um, everybody has to walk their own path, you know? Yes. So, um, and at the end, you know, and she says that, you know, things have a way of working out. And um, she just said to kind of, you know, sometimes you have to kind of take a deep breath and um, kind of, you know, just kind of, <clears throat> you know, sort of let things be. Um, and, um, but I, I know that she knows that your intentions are pure, you know. Um, can I ask you, do you have a lot of the old photographs? I have all of grandma's photographs. Oh, okay, is that, is that, is that your mom's mom? Yes. Who's Marge? Um, Margaret was yeah. grandma's who is that? Uh, my grandma. Oh, and you have a lot of the old photos. I have all of them. From your grandmother and stuff? Yes. And do some of them obviously have your mom in it? Yes. Okay. Your grand they're telling me they said to thank you. They said you're taking really good care of them. And um, they said that you have, um, you're, you don't just have them thrown in a box somewhere. You actually have taken care of them. And they see you doing that and they really like that. <laughs> I put them in a book. I made a book. Oh, yeah. Because they said that instead, they said for a while they were like thrown in a box somewhere. They now, the now original you, are. Yeah. <laughs> but my mom helped me make that book. Oh, that's what they're probably talking about then. Yeah. 
<laughs> your mom, did you did you kind of like re did you redo them? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So your mom was here for that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Your mom loves you so much, and she she wants you to know that the spirit world is a beautiful place. And um, she said that you know it's oh are you taking care of your dad? My dad's gone. Okay. Did yeah. you take care of him after? Did did you take care of him after she passed? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Okay. He must was he kind of a quieter guy? Yeah. Well, yes and no. Okay. Is he an <laughs> R? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I see that they must have passed pretty close together. Four years. Like four years, yeah. Okay. Well, they're together too. I am seeing them together. Um and are, she, and, and he I told me he was coming. Yeah, I want to ask you one thing, Susie. Um, not right now, because I know it's different with what's going on in the world, but are you planning some trips in the future? Yes. Okay. Because that, for some reason, your parents are really happy about that. They're saying that, that you know, they said that it's, you know, you got to, they want you to get out and see the world a little bit. Yeah. Are you going to take some trips, do you think? We're just going to go up to the uh, Upper Peninsula. And, and I and, and once once um, COVID is done, mm -hmm. I want to go to Quebec to see where my ancestors are from with my okay. aunts. My yeah, mom's be that, yeah, because they're talking about. I think they're talking about taking some bigger trips and stuff. And I think that was something your parents enjoyed. Were they travelers? They did. Yeah, and they got to go some different places and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think they're just kind of probably bringing that up. Okay. Your mom likes your hair, by the way. It's up in a bun. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, good. Well, I'm going to go to the next person. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much.